Hi guys, it is day 11 of my master cleanse. I have 10 complete days done. So if I'm able to make it the 40 days, I am a quarter of my way there. And pretty much everything's the same. I'm still doing the same things. I'm trying to follow it pretty much to the letter. Um, I The only thing I'm kind of altering is every once in a while I don't do the salt water flush. For example, this morning I didn't do the salt water flush because we went to the church and had like an all day um, church cleaning day and I didn't want to spend the entire morning running to the restroom. So I didn't do the salt water flush this morning, but I did do the move, the smooth move tea last night. So I did have a little bit of clean, cleaning out before I left. Um, let's see, I was gonna talk about the struggle. I have am having one struggle. Uh, when I first started the cleanse, uh, 10 days ago, my parents were out of town. They had gone to uh, my aunt's house for Christmas. So it was just me and the dog. And I'm actually very grateful. I missed my parents dearly and I was so happy to have them back. But I was really grateful to have that first week um, without anybody else in the house because I didn't have any temptations. I was finding I wasn't tempted by food at all. And it was because it wasn't around. I wasn't making anybody food. I didn't have food out on the counters. I really never opened the cupboard, so I never saw crackers or chips or bread or any of these foods that are tempting. And since my parents have been back, I've had uh, the first couple days were a little bit of a struggle because I was making banana ice cream for my mom uh, and I was wanting to eat it. I made apple pie for uh, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, my nephew came and I made apple pie for them and I was finding like, oh, I want to taste that. Uh, lots of different foods. Uh, there was, it's, of course, when they came back and we unpacked the car, the counters were covered in snack foods that they had brought on the ride. Um, chips and crackers and candies and all kinds of things that weren't healthy for me to eat. Um, so for a couple of days, I really did struggle with not eating things that were not spicy lemonade. <laughs> But I have made it through and it's much easier. Um, but I will tell you that it's, I, I now understand those that have been doing it and say that it's just so hard when they're making their family's meals. And I really do feel bad for you guys. And I will be thinking of you guys and praying for you guys very often because it's hard. It's very hard to make people food and not want to eat it. So if, it's all, at all possible. I recommend if you want to start a master cleanse, start the first week with only you around so that there's no temptations because it really has been easier. I don't know if I would have made it actually if I would have had to do this with starting right off the bat with uh, tons of people eating temptation around me. So I think that's all I wanted to say. Uh, like I said, pretty much everything else is the same. Um, my weight has been kind of consistent it's weird i haven't lost nearly as much as i thought um the last few days again i've stayed the same i had one day i think where i dropped a little and that was it and i don't know if it's because um i'm on my period maybe that's why i'm not sure but i'm hoping that next week it'll start dropping <laughs> i keep praying but i still feel good and that's what's most important i have energy I'm not hungry. I mean, I feel really good. It's amazing to me that you can go 10 days on lemonade and have this much energy. So I will continue to keep you guys updated. I'm still going to try to do every other day. I, I skipped a day this week because uh, we were busy yesterday and my nephew's here in town. So, but hopefully today's what Saturday. So Monday I will plan on doing a video. Hope you guys have a good weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye.